Hey, yo, it's Sergeant Leo here today. We're playing some more Silent Hunter 4. Uh, we're going to continue our campaign that we had to uh, restart, sadly. Um, if you're not aware, it's a United States campaign. Even though this uh, thing... Uh, even though the title of this video says U-Boat Missions, that is only a DLC. I think I explained that in the last episode. I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to plot our course this time. We're going to do a little bit of math. Figure out what uh, what's the best possible route. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we already know the objective. We're going to start outside the harbor for time's sake. And we'll plot our course uh, after we figure out what is the most logical way. Fuel efficient. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I still don't know if that's a Japanese battleship or an American. I think it's an American. Yes, sir. It would make sense since we're doing an American campaign. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go to the map. <clears throat> so, what we need to do is we need to figure out the distance from Midway to M Manila to Surakasaki? Trasaki? Trasaki? I don't know. So, what we will do is we will take this handy little dandy measuring tool. We'll go from Midway to Davao. Because that is where we would go if we were to do that. And we'll take it. Go from here. Will we? It's going to connect the two, maybe. Um, and then we'll just, like, fucking... Actually, you know what? Here's a better idea. Why don't we just draw straight from the two? No, no, no. This is actually a more accurate way. And we'll go that. So it is 634 plus 329. Let me just get out my phone real quick. 3,956. Now, I know on the Tambor class, the uh, maximum distance you can go with your uh, fuel... It's somewhere around 11,000 nautical miles. So, let's see. Where is the calculator? There it is. Okie dokie. It's 2,956. We'll ignore the decimal for simplicity's sake. Plus 329, plus 634. It's 4,919 nautical miles from uh, Midway to Manila. Pearl Harbor to Midway, we don't have to worry about Actually, let's plot the course while we're doing this. Mm, we're already out of sight of the harbor. There's an island there. Damn it. Go like that, and then like that. Straight to midway. Okay, that works. Alright, we're going to put him at two-thirds speed. Yes, sir. We don't want them to travel too fast because they can go... I think it's somewhere on it's eleven thousand nautical miles at ten knots. If we go any pa if we go any further than ten knots, uh, then we use more fuel than we should normally use. Oh, my phone's about to turn off. So it's four thousand nine hundred nineteen miles from Midway nautical miles from Midway to Manila. So it's fairly reasonable. We can make that on one trip. But if we times that by two, coming back, it's nine thousand eight hundred thirty-eight to go there and back. But, we'll be refueling, so we won't have to worry about that. Now, if we were to go from Midway to... Let's see how far it is from Midway. Okay, I didn't click on that. We'll go from Midway to there. It is 3,259 times 2, 6,518. Now, if this game is historically accurate, the Tambor class can go... I believe it said... Let me check real quick. It said it can go 11,000 nautical miles at 10 knots. We're currently traveling 11 knots. Nautical miles per hour, if you didn't know that already. So, technically we could, but that's pushing it. I feel more safe going from Manila to there because it's such a shorter distance. And remember, we will be engaging constant... We'll be taking a constant threat from Manila to there, and also from Midway to here. Once we get to the harbor, 
we're going to be submerged most of the time. But when we do resubmerge or resurface, we're going to have used a lot of fuel. So it's a safer bet to take a safer route from Midway to Manila. Because most of this is friendly. The only thing that we have to worry about is Palau Islands and Guam and Saipan. Most of those are probably just going to be transports. And if need be, we can go... Uh, we can take the route from Midway to... What islands are these? Marshall Islands. These are like... I don't think this is part of the Marshall Islands. We'll just assume they are. Midway, Marshall Islands, to the Celeb Sea, to Sulu Sea, to Manila. From Manila, and go up to East China Sea into Sarasaki. Is that how you say it? Sarasaki? I'm probably mispronouncing that. We'll probably travel along the coast, or maybe we'll even go out into the ocean and take a sneaky route in. Regardless, that is how we're going to do it. So, let's hop into the command bridge. Say hello to our first first, uh, first mate. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. I'll stare at this map for eternity, sir. The helmsman. How are you today, helmsman? Pretty good? Good. That's what I like to hear about my men. They're doing well. Okay, turn off my iPhone slash calculator. What is that? I think that's part of the sonar. Or it's the captain's log. Uh, depth. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head to the deck. There, I think that's, I think that's Pearl Harbor in the distance. Probably is. There, I think that's a cruiser moving off in the distance. And, let's see. I should probably erase all these stray marks. Just so I don't get confused myself. Wait. I don't want to erase our freaking thing, so... Erase that. That. There's a lot of math involved in this game, if you didn't realize it already. Like, you have to have a vague knowledge of math, but you do have to have some prior knowledge. Uh-oh. Whoops. Alright, well... We do have to fix our course because it's going to go straight to an island. It's probably going to go through Honolulu. Still going to go through it. Okay. Well, we'll delete that. Really? Oh my goodness. That is the fourth time that has happened today, and I've had to restart several times. Okay, we're going to yes, fix sir. this I'll crappy stop. little course. Let's go a little further out. And then we'll take our plot along the islands. I know I may be extending this a little further than it should be, but I want to be safe and not screw it up again like I did last time. So that was a little embarrassing. Uh, we could probably fix that. Maybe if we could actually click on the eraser. We'll take our plotted course and we'll go straight to mid midway. I almost said Manila. Manila. Can't even talk. Stick us at two thirds, yes, please. Head slow. Yes, sir. You can actually watch these guys talking, and he actually turns the knobs too. So I'll show you. All right, I'm gonna tell the first mate to put us at standard. Yes, sir. Ahead, standard. Yes, sir. And he'll actually do it. Pretty cool. And the game reacts to him, not me. So when I tell him. A head standard. He turns those knobs. Those knobs go down to the engine room. The people in the engine room put more f uh, propulsion in, and uh, it speeds us up. We're gonna drop down to two thirds. Yes, sir. Sir. Head slow. Yes, sir. Oops, I jumped to the wrong person. <laughs> Wait. Knots. Is that our speed? I think that's our speed. Yeah, that's our speed. Nautical miles. Left, right, angle degrees. Um, too bad you can't see me. Kind of sucks. That'd be cool if you could. <laughs> We're like an owl. We can turn 360 degrees. Does he have a hat normally? Go back to the command. Let's see if he actually has... Oh, he does. I never noticed that. Never even noticed that. These are the dive men. They, uh, they're what send us below the ocean. Go back to the deck. Check it out up here. Is that our first mate again? Probably not. 
I think this is the point where we actually need to, uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can rescue survivors. That must be something new that they added. Wow. I was not aware of that. Okay, we're gonna hop to the map, and we're gonna fast forward. I know I said I'm gonna take this, like... Did I just... Oh, fuck. If you guys want to see a torpedo firing, it's, uh, that's what I just did. Because I'm stupid and hit the enter button. Let's, uh... Yep, there's a torpedo. That's what a, uh... That's what a torpedo looks like. It's also what happens when you press enter. Like me. It, uh, it does that. Auto torpedo loading. Do not hit enter. I was trying to hit the plus sign to speed the game up. But, uh, I hit the enter button. So now there's a torpedo just aimlessly going in the water. Holy crap, frames. That was weird. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna let the frames recover every time I speed this up. So apparently they can't handle it. There they go. Alright, so there's nothing interesting here. Not until we get from... Not unless... Once we get near Sa uh, Guam and Saipan, the Mar Mariana Islands, it's pretty much gonna be just... Yeah, this. Staring at a map. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're already using a little bit of our fuel. Let's speed it up a little bit and try not hit the, uh... Oh, look! Torpedo... To tube 1 is ready, sir. Yes, sir. Gotcha, sir. It's going to be a little, uh, difficult when I shoot my first torpedo off because it's been a very long time since I've done it. Um, but I am in pre-cal, and we have been working with, uh, triangles and stuff, so... I don't think it'll be too difficult. We'll see, though. Up, oh, box traffic received. These are some. This is something important. I know that. Gramophone. You can actually insert files, like music files, into that, and you can play it. So you can put like ACDC in there or something. Apparently we have Pack News. December twelfth, nineteen forty one. Ben turned back at Wake Island. Good job, boys. This Thursday, December eleventh, Germany and Italy have declared war against the United States. The European and the Southeast Southeast Asian Wars have now become a global conflict between the Axis powers of the Japanese Empire, Germany and Italy, united against the United States, Great Britain, France, and their allies. All craft be advised, Japanese invasion of Borneo, imminent, request assistance and aid from troll craft in the area. Borneo. Borneo? Where is Borneo in relation to us? Borneo, Borneo, Borneo. Isn't that over here somewhere? Saipan? I don't remember where Borneo is. I'm sure one of you knows where it is. Oh, it's a big ass island. No kidding. <clears throat> hmm. The Japanese invaded that island, apparently. It's a British controlled island. Fox traffic received. 901. Oops, wrong button. Oops, 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 oops. Resume. What is this? Send contact report. I want to see the fox traffic. Whatever. Must be something not as important. Maybe that was the uh, Borneo invasion thing. Okay, let's speed up. We have nothing better to do, so we'll just sail straight from midway.
I find it pretty cool how they uh, give you all these t tools, like a protractor, and oh, that's protractor. What is that? A compass. Oh, I was not aware of that. Thought they were the same thing. You can you can draw circles with both of them. Doesn't it doesn't have to be just that. Hmm. Cool. And then we have a compass up here. Oh, it's a tool helper. All right, let's go down to one frame per second while we're at it. Holy crap! Contact. Warship. Closing. Bearing. Three. Three. There's the sound contact. Yeah, let's use one of these tools. How far away is he from us? Slow it down even more. This is how you find an approximate range, I guess. Three, three, four, long range. He's approximately 14.8 nautical miles out. Dear Jesus. My frames. Don't do this to me. Please, don't do this to me. Come on. Oh, my dear Jesus. Why does it do this? Why does it do this? Thank you, fraps. Thank you, Fraps. Thank you. Please, just continue to ruin this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to cut that as an intermission. Oh, here we go again. Great. Great. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why the frames are dropping so badly. I'm sorry about that. I don't, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> it's very, very, very annoying. Is that a friendly contact? Oh my god. Holy shit. If any of you have an explanation for this, please let me know. Oh my god, it's pouring ass rain. Well, we're not going to see anything and he's probably not going to see us. Okay, seriously, game? Come on. Come on. For the love of god. I don't know how much longer we're going to go. Oh, look. He's wearing a little trench suit. Look at him. I wonder if I'm wearing anything. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know how much longer we're going to go with this episode if this keeps happening. Because I'm starting to get super irritated now. But I don't want to, like, fucking... Come on, Fraps, you can do this. This is not my computer, by the way. Like, this never happens. Come on. Unlock me from this. Thank you. Let's just get to the command bridge before this progresses even worse. Or the map, for that matter. Maybe it'll recover here. Maybe it won't. Maybe we'll just end the episode here on a bad note. With terrible frames. I'm going to give it another 10 seconds for it to recover. And if it doesn't recover, then I'm sadly, uh, sadly, we're going to have to end the episode. All right. Well, all right. Right at the last second, it decides to recover. I really don't know what's going on. Because you guys know this game runs almost phenomenal on my PC. Runs with no problems whatsoever. What's happening with my game? What's happening with my computer? I don't know. This is the only game that does it too. Empire, Rome, never had that happen. It could be because of the rain. Could could not be. I don't really know. Um, let's at least try and get to midway. I guess we can. Here, let me save it real quick. I'm gonna save. Yes. Actually, we'll save over that one. Yes. Okay. We will fast forward, and hope to God we can. Uh, we can make it to Midway without it freaking crashing on us. I can almost promise those are friendly sound sound contacts. Probably like some fleet. Holy poop. Come on game, slow down. Alright, we're just gonna... <laughs> this game is gonna push me to my limit. Turn the ship, sir! Turn the ship! 
Hmm. Well, it has recovered. I'm gonna jinx the shit out of this. I swear. Every time I say it's recovered, it, the frames just poop on themselves. Alright, we're almost midway. We are... Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fraps. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at this speed, because apparently it holds up pretty well on this one. Like, it got... Okay, the frame counter right now is at 30. And then it'll jump to 60. And then it jump And it holds 60 for, like, 20 seconds. And then it jumps down to 1. And I'm like, what the shit? What am I doing? <laughs> What's wrong? And I can't alt-tab because it'll just end the recording. Can we enter port? Can we? Yes, we can. Alright. Can we submerge or something? Holy crap, it's raining. And it's dark as hell outside. Alright, let's enter port. Refit. Refit complete. Thank you, sir. We are packed on fuel. So... Let us plot our course before we end this episode. Yes, sir. I'll stop. Yes, sir. All right. So, as we know, where is it? Guam, Sapan, Melkok, or the Palau Islands have all been taken by the Japanese. So, if we want to take a safe route, we can go this way, or we can live risky and go this way and encounter a bunch of fleets and pretty much screw ourselves. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a semi-safe route. We do have the option to go... We'll hide in the islands, is what we'll do. Let me zoom in. Stay at two-thirds speed. Do not stay at standard. We have all the time in the world to get this done. I say that, and it's probably going to be like, Oh, you, 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 you ran out of the time limit. There's probably some hidden time limit somewhere. Okay, we're going to plot our course, and then we'll probably end the episode... Considering my frames are not recovering yet, I'm still at 30. Which is severely angering me. Okay, Moral Gulf. This is where it gets a little iffy. Because it's really shallow here between these islands, so you have to watch your course accordingly. I don't usually steer the ship very often. And when I do, I'm not very good at it. Okay. Boho. Since this is all friendly waters, I'm sure we'll maybe run into a couple of Japanese aircraft here and there, but nothing too much to worry about. I'm going to zoom in. Right there, right there, there, there. Oh, here goes the frames again. Oh, I recovered that time. And I think that's close enough. So that's going to be our plotted course. Uh, right here, we'll probably encounter some Japanese transports, which will be fine. And maybe some transports from Guam to the Marshall Islands. They don't control the Marshall Islands yet, but I'm sure they're transporting troops over there anyways. So, yeah. We, uh, we're setting our course, and we're on our way. And uh, that's what we'll do. So, thank you all for watching. This is Sergeant Leo, and I apologize for the frame dropping. that uh, I, had, I don't know what happened, but uh, I will look into fixing it for the next episode. And uh, I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye. Can we shoot? Can we throw? Come on, man. What if I can they are the literally in range. Throw your spear. Tell us what happens sometimes. Kill them all. Mag ready, man. Why are we not shooting? Oh, Jesus. That was gruesome. Shoot them, damn it. Prepare, man. Prepare. Why are you not throwing? 